Titan Quest is a decent ARPG, but it never had satisfying minion options. I haven't played the game I modded in probably a decade, but I remember it that you have a single Lich minion if you went for the Spirit Mastery. This isn't good enough, but fortunately there's some mods available which will provide you with some more satisfying minions. The Legion of Champions mod for Titan Quest Anniversary Edition changes up the skill trees and provides minion options for all the skill trees. I'm going to focus on the spirit tree because it provides undead minions, but I'll also let you know what's available in the other trees. Titan Quest lets you skill two trees, so you'll be able to use some other minions in addition to the undead ones, which is nice. The first undead minion offered by the spirit tree is the skeleton warrior. It's a good minion, and it pretty much is what you'd expect, a skeleton with a weapon that fights enemies in close quarters combat. Every time you make a skeleton warrior minion, he'll spawn with different equipment. I don't think the equipment has any effect on his performance, it seems to be an aesthetic touch. At the beginning of the game, the skeleton warrior is strong enough to keep you safe, and serves you well. Dumping points into the skill will improve the skeleton warrior's strength and toughness, and it will also let you have two of them later on. Unfortunately, two skeleton warriors seems to be the limit. The Skeleton Warrior can be upgraded by investing some skill points into some extra abilities. Each of these can be skilled to a maximum of 12 points, and they simply get more potent the more points you invest. The first one of these is called Vampire Strike, and it allows the Skeleton Warrior to leech life from enemies to heal itself. It also applies a number of debuffs to the enemy, like slowing their movement speed, causing them to take cold damage over time, and also making them afraid. The second one is called Revenant Heart, and it diminishes the Skeleton Warrior's corporealness, making him less like a corpse and more like a spirit. This grants the Skeleton Warrior some damage absorption, as well as a chance of inflicting life-leeching debuffs to enemies that hit him. The final upgrade for the Skeleton Warrior is called Revenant Rage, and it improves the Skeleton Warrior's damage and life-draining potential. The second minion you can get is called the Lich King. He's a skeleton spellcaster who can apply some buffs to the team and can also shoot magic bolts at enemies. He can also be upgraded to have a bunch of deadlier spells. The Lich King is important for damage per second and seems to outperform the skeleton warriors, especially early on. He's also useful to kill enemies that you're kiting. The first upgrade he gets is called Death Nova and it damages enemies around him and leeches their life. It also puts the fear debuff on them. The second upgrade is Wraith Shell, which grants the Lich King damage absorption, physical resistance, and even more life leeching. Finally, the Lich King can be upgraded with the Soul Strike ability. This is a large, slow-moving blob of magic that splashes on enemies, dealing a lot of damage in a small area. It's pretty good, but it has a tendency to get caught on trees, pillars, ceilings, and anything that's hanging in, in the way. It's also very slow, so by the time it hits the enemies, they may no longer be standing where they were. If it connects though, the results are pretty good. The final undead minion you can get is called the Skeleton Berserker. This summons a giant skeleton warrior who deals a lot of damage, but only for a short amount of time. After his 30 seconds are done, he's gone and he's on cooldown for several minutes. This minion is useful in emergency situations or in boss fights. As I mentioned before, you can skill into two trees in Titan Quest, so it's worth taking a brief look at the minions and other trees. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to try any of the other mastery as much because of how incredibly grindy this game is. The XP gain is really slow. If I tried all masteries with different characters to the fullest extent, this video wouldn't be coming out until August. So I'm sorry for the shallow and brief look at these other minions, but at least it gives you some idea of the other minions that this mod offers. The Storm Tree gives you the Storm Sprite, which is a type of demon. Later on it also gives you the Wisp Minion and the Storm Giant. The Storm Giant is another kind of timed minion, probably similar to the Skeleton Berserker. Earth gives you the Fire Sprite, which looks a lot like the Storm Sprite from the Storm Tree. Later on you can also get a Core Dweller, and finally an Earfit. The Earfit is another timed minion, and it probably performs similarly to the Skeleton Berserker. 
The dream tree gives you the Night Terror minion. It looks like a flying eyeball, and it seems to zap enemies. Later on it gives you the Summon Nightmare ability. With Warfare, you get the Ancestral Horn ability, which summons a ghostly warrior to fight with you. Defense gives you the Spectral Hammer minion, and later on you can also get the Armored Spirit. Nature gives you the Bog Dweller, and later you can also get a Silver Nymph. With Hunting, you get a Wolf minion, and later on you can get Falcons and even a Piglet to lure enemies out with. A funny option is the Rogue Tree. It gives you the Hired Goons ability, which lets you summon a dude who kind of looks like Salad Fingers in ninja form. There's also the Runes Mastery, but it's greyed out to me. I'm probably missing a DLC or something, so I can't tell you anything about what this one offers. Overall, I think this mod is really good. It adds minions of some kind to every skill mastery, which I think is really cool. The minions themselves are pretty capable, but I'd like to see more of them. This mod has also made Titan quests enjoyable for me. I didn't enjoy it the last time I played it due to the lack of minion options available. Despite this, I found myself feeling frustrated while playing this. Not because of the mod, but because of the game. It really takes so long to level up in Titan Quest that you're stuck with a very low minion count for a lot of the time. After 11 hours of gameplay at level 21, with all of my points invested totally into minions and maxing out the Skeleton Warrior skill, I can still only have two Skeleton Warriors and one Lich King Skeleton Mage. At this point in the game, I feel like I need a lot more minions than this, or, or at least enough points to be able to branch out into some of the damage dealing spells to make up for a low minion count. But there's simply not enough skill points to be able to do this. If I compare the minion mancer experience here to Grim Dawn, Path of Exile, or Last Epoch, then it's very lacking. I think it probably gets much better at high levels once you're able to flesh out the skills a bit more, but I don't have the patience to grind through this grindy game to get there. I think my gripe here is really more with the game than with this mod. The mod is actually pretty good. I'm going to give this a 7.8 out of 10 for its minion mechanics. It's a good mod, and it transforms a game with almost no minions at all into a game with a huge variety of useful minions to choose from. I also really like how all the minions have their own special skills, which can be used to upgrade the minions and make them better. The only weak part in this mod is the low quantities of minions you're able to get. I'd like to get a bit more of an army going. For Steam users, the mod is available in the Steam Workshop. For GOG users, or anyone who wants to install it manually, it's available on a website called Commitsy Perfect. Links to both are in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've got a lot more necromancy content coming your way.